Beautiful morning, my people. Um, I'm sitting here watching an interview where this PBC fanboy tries to push up on Eddie Hearn, asking him about the PBC. Well, how come um, you know, the zone is, is, is not so great of a platform? That's what he's saying. And they're raising up membership fees. And how come the PBC, it, how come um, the zone can get the Saudi money, but the PBC can't? And Eddie Hearn broke it down. He said, listen, man, the reason why the PBC is failing is because they have no schedule, they have no plan, and they have no money. They have no network that's willing to put money up for their fights and pay for their schedule or whatever the case may be, meaning the white folks ain't backing them. So this guy was so adamant, he's trying to push up on Eddie Hearn, and um, it's hilarious because, you know, Eddie Hearn is destroying him. Eddie Hearn is telling him exactly this is why the PBC is failing as a record label staff and as a crew, but he's not trying to hear it. And Eddie asked him, he said, uh, do you work for the PBC? He said, no, 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 I'm just challenging you. He don't even work for the PBC. And I guess he's trying to get points and kudos from the PBC. But guess what? Al Heyman ain't going ain't gonna to hire you. Booger Ray not going to hire you. Floyd Mayweather not going to hire you. You got to listen to this interview and tell me what do you think. But the zone has been raising their subscription costs. They're going to Saudi Arabia to get more money. Why is it that PBC are the ones where you could go there and trouble financially? Because no one says that about the zone. Because, because, are... because they don't have a broadcaster. That is paying them money to service their fighters. Yeah, but the zone is you. The zone is raising costs. No, and no the zone has the biggest to... budget in boxing, okay. and continuously make sure so they that all of their, their subscriptions. At all? Yeah, yeah, of course they have. Everybody's raised their subscriptions okay. over the past couple of years. Eddie. But your question is, mm -hmm. why is PBC struggling, and why are the zone not? The answer is, the zone pay a lot of money to promoters for rights fees to service their fighters and keep them active. PBC do not have a broadcaster that pay rights fees for a consistent schedule. Well, they have a, Amazon, right? No, they have a broadcaster where they've got a couple of pay-per-views okay. that they have to take a risk on with no guarantees. They have no plan, they have no schedule, they have no regular content outside of pay-per-views that quite frankly aren't even really pay-per-views. Okay. And you cannot run a business, you cannot build a schedule, you cannot maintain and service your fighters if you do not have a broadcaster that is paying rights fees for regular Saturday night fight nights. Yeah, but Outside of maybe the Saudi fights, what, what has the zone, what big fights have the zone put on? Are you joking? Outside of the Saudi fights? Are you joking? No, I wonder else. I mean, what Haney you? against Garcia? I mean, this is now. I mean, talking about Katie Fires Taylor, and... Anthony Joshua, Ryan Garcia. Um, you got, uh, we just, well, we just. Ryan Garcia was with Tank last time. That's what the No, that was on the zone. Do your maths. Also, he just fought Duarte on the zone okay. like a couple of months those ago are, those are pay -per -view no they weren't no no, no that's what i'm saying but you're, you, saying, you know, i think you work for the bbc no no i'm not I'm I'm just like, just like, you know, Literally, it was the funniest stuff I've ever seen. You get what I'm saying? So these guys, these Shea Butters, they trying, boy, I swear to God, they trying, but it's over. The Titanic has sunk. And guess what? None of you guys, you Shea Butter Laptop Revolutionaries, you know, um, you Wakanda niggas, you guys, um, you, you Hamanites, pro PBC guys, you can't save them. See, you can see the, the fact of the matter is this here. If the white man don't put the money up, it doesn't go. This this is what I've been telling y'all. So you can start all this, you know, all this hating on, you guys want to hate on other different promotional companies and stuff like that. But the, everything that you guys, everything that you Shea Butters, everything that you Heyman Ice ride with, go down the toilet. Everything that you alphabet boys ride with, go down the toilet. And the crazy part about it, you don't learn your lesson. You haven't learned your lesson. That's the problem. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go.